kind of how you'd like to see your guys perform in a matchup like this? Um, I thought we were fine tonight. I wouldn't say it was a uh, you know awesome performance, but it was you know it was probably a solid B performance uh, throughout. And you know I mean to come out with a win is always the objective. How about RJ? Do you feel like you built on last week's outing? I thought he was fine. Uh, I, I I wasn't you know I'm not disappointed. I'm not super um, juiced about it. I think the best thing about his outing is it got better as the outing went and and he competed. Um, you know, I, I didn't feel like he had his best stuff, and I didn't feel like he was just locked in, especially early in the game. It was kind of a fight. Um, you know, just felt like it was a fight for him. He was fighting his delivery or whatever he's fighting, and it just didn't seem easy. And then he finished strong, which is which is really good for him to finish strong. And, and uh, that was one of our objectives is for him to finish strong and get in the 90 pitch range, and that's where he finished. What, what would have made this an A game? Like, what, what do you think you guys needed to do to get this to be an A game rather than a B game? Um, yeah, I mean, there, there's uh, there's still just things that are a little bit loose. It's early in the season. You know, there's the standard of the program is, you know, anything within an arm's reach of the field is an out, and we didn't have that tonight. Um, you know, we had a couple of things get loose on us. I think one of the runs scored on just a pass ball. Um, that's how it started the inning. Um, you know, and Bennett's been a rock star back there behind the plate, but I'm sure he'd, he'd say that he'd like to have that one back. Um, you know, performance that I thought was probably – other than Carter Grotti, you know, getting hit by pitch, you know, three times, having five plus at bats and going backside double for an RBI. I mean, Cole Stokes at the end of the game was, was really good to see as well. What, what do you think of Stokes in particular? Well, I think he's a young guy with a great arm. You know, I mean, he's, he's a guy that's, you know, he's, he's got everything that you're looking for, you know, if you're a professional scout. And it's just a matter of him settling in and, and learning that he can be really good at this level. And so you, you saw what he can do. He can be dominant. And, um, to be honest with you, he probably wasn't even throwing his best fastball tonight. He was probably, um, you know, first time out there. You saw a couple of fastballs that were, you know, where I think he let it eat a little bit, which is good. But I was just really happy for Cole. I thought he pitched well. Heard kind of carried his momentum over from last week too. Gets a couple, couple more hits. He's got, I think he's got multiple hits in every game. Just what would you think about moving him up in the cleanup spot and then how he performed there? We just, you know, we're, we're, we want to figure out what the lineup looks like. We don't have that worked out yet. Um, you know, it's what he did last weekend, what he did tonight, that's what it looks like. And, and uh, you know, for us, that's what we're looking for all the way across. You know, I think one of the guys already asked, you know, well, what would be a better performance? Well, if everybody did what it looks like, then that would be an A game. And it wasn't that way across the board, but Jeffrey Hurdshire is doing it. Yeah, the lineup. Any of the ABs was stand out, and I mean, everybody got, a, everybody got a hit, everybody scored. Uh, five guys had multiple hits, 10 extra bases, but any of them stand out by way of little things you were looking for, execution, if anybody was looking to go up or anything, pulling, anything? No, I mean, I just thought that the first lead, the leadoff batter of the game, you know, he gets, Casella gets into a two strike jam and, you know, he shoots one the opposite field just for a, probably was one of the, the weakest hit balls of the night. And yet it was an unselfish at bat. He shortened up with two strikes and he just peppered a ball in the three, four hole. I thought that was a tremendous at bat. There were some other really good at bats. I thought Chase Meggers played really well in his first college start at Oregon. Um, and he's been killing it for us in scrimmages. Um, and so, you know, him getting a chance, he didn't even get a chance last weekend, you know, and that was one of my regrets on the tournament last weekend is the kid had done so well uh, leading into the weekend and then we didn't, we didn't find a place, you know, that's my fault. Um, didn't find a place to get him in there. It wasn't his fault. He did everything. He led our club at RBIs during the, during the springtime, uh, during the scrimmages. And so he deserved an opportunity and he deserved an opportunity tonight. He looked uh, poised at the plate, which is great. How was it being back at PK in front of the home crowd today? You know, I don't know. Great. I don't know all the numbers on attendance and all that, but I know that they, you know, the students have been awesome. Um, you know, tomorrow's Phil Knight's birthday and I'm buying the students a hundred pizzas and, you know, we need to pack that student section with more people tomorrow. Um, and we can't figure out a better way than give out free pizzas to, to the students in honor of Phil's birthday. So we're going to do that. This, the place, I thought the environment tonight was really, really good home opener and, and the people showed up. I know the weather was nice and, um, but I think they came for, for the baseball more than the weather. You said in Texas you wanted your two, three, four guys to have to do better. No. Everybody had two hits today, and then two, three, four. Just what do you see from them, and how did that kind of orchestrate this offensive onslaught? Well, I think it was just consistent across the board. You don't score in every inning when, when there's holes in the lineup. It, it, there was consistency throughout the lineup, and um, the two, three, four hole guys and the rest of the lineup, it just continued to chip in, and it was just. It was a it was a solid you know they they threw a couple of the better arms today and they got a couple of uh, good arms back there but the stuff that they saw tonight especially in the first half of the game was really good stuff and um, and our hitters handled it.
You've broken program records three straight years for home runs in a season. Is that something you guys talk about at all? And did tonight contribute to that at all? No, don't don't really care about records. We're just into trying to get to Omaha. Couldn't he hit his first career home run? Just what, what what kind of moment was that like when he got back to the dugout? Oh, I mean, come on, you know, kid gets his first home run. It was awesome for that kid. You know, he got he got. Uh, to be able to do that, it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, Chase Maggers with RBIs and, you know, the other things that are, are first for players are really exciting. We've got a lot of, of new guys that are in the lineup that, you know, probably are going to have a lot of firsts this year, mm -hmm. um, which is great. You know, Cole Stokes, first scoreless inning, first time he towed the rubber for the Ducks, you know, and, and in a college jersey. So, you know, with the number of new guys that we have in the lineup or, or on the pitcher's mound, we're going to see a lot of firsts, and uh, it's a talented group, as we can tell.